Ryan Tuberty in his statement welcoming the Grant Thornton piece had one line in there that, and I'll read it to you, Tabitha, because that's probably the easiest way. It said, It is also clear that my actual income from RTE in 2020 and 2021 matches what was originally published as my earnings for those years. And RTE has not yet published its top 10 earner details for 2022. Now, the problem there is that what Ryan Tuberty seems to be suggesting was the figures in the Grant Thornton reference the payroll figures, not the Renault money. And he seems to be there again suggesting that he believes the Renault thing was a separate scenario. It was not part of his core income, which he got from RTE. Is he wrong there, though? I think it is pretty much widely accepted at this stage that the money came from RT from the infamous Barter account. So as far as the public who pay the licence fee and the government who give a subvention to RT every year and those who sat at the Rockets committees and most importantly, the new Director General, Kevin Backhurst, all believe that if you're being truthful and honest about this and if we're going to say mistakes were made and we have to move on, you have to accept that RTE topped up Ryan Tuberty's salary by that extra €75,000 a year. Ryan Tuberty doesn't seem to accept that. And that is where Kevin Backer said the statement muddied the waters. And I think what really, uh, from speaking to some people last night, what really got Kevin Backer's back up was that there was no consultation with RT about that statement. So normally if you're an RT contractor or employee and a lot of them obviously have their own things going on and we know there's a new register of interests being set up for for staff as well, normally you would go to the RT press office and go, I'm putting out this personal statement, just giving you a heads up, here's what it says. And there would have been an opportunity to go, hold on a second, not happy with that line, can you take it out? And you would have gone on from there. RT got no warning of the statement. It was issued through a private PR firm who are, have been hired by Ryan Tuberty since this controversy started. And I think that was a big issue for them, which was basically they felt blindsided by it. It didn't stick to the group answer that they're now all agreeing as part of this. And on that basis, Kevin Backhurst decided he couldn't trust Ryan Tuberty. And he, so they just, he, Kevin Backhurst just wanted everybody on the same page, essentially. And that by releasing this statement, it showed that Ryan was still thinking about himself on his own rather than a part of RTE. Yeah, Kevin Backer's attitude is a lot of bad things have happened. We have to accept that the bad things have happened and we have to be honest and find a way forward with that. You also have to remember that the situation here was Ryan Tuberty was going to go back on air on the 4th of September. So almost like school holidays are over and Ryan is back scenario. That's a powerful tool. Live radio, you can pretty much say what you want and it can't be taken back because it'll be out there by the time somebody gets to run in and press a big red button. Um, so you had to have a high level of trust that if you put a presenter back in that seat and this controversy is in the newspaper, which it will because the doll will be back and this will be up again before Rockta's committees, it'll be on the front pages of the newspapers into September, October, November because there are a number of investigations taking place. And you would have to trust that the person in that hot seat who's reviewing those papers, as Ryan Tuberty often did, would be on the same page as his bosses when it comes to how the reaction to each bit of information as it falls out would be.